Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on making our crochet Grinch wine bottle gift bags. And of course, these gift bags can be used for so much more than just wine bottles. Um, however, that is what was in mind when I made, um, when I originally made this pattern. Okay, so it does fit a standard 12 inch tall wine bottle. Um, so just keep that in mind. And let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be using Burnout Premium Yarn and a five millimeter crochet hook. And we're gonna start with making a magic ring. So you're just gonna drape the yarn right over your hand like this. Hold it in place with your thumb there. Wrap the yarn around your fingers and cross it over gently, okay? Now it gets a little bit tricky and it's a little awkward. So you might have to try a few times, but once you get the hang of it, you'll be fine. So you're gonna take your hook and go under that first piece of yarn and over the next, and you're gonna pull it under to create a loop on your hook. Now hold that in place, pick up your working yarn and chain one. Okay. So now we are going to half double crochet five times into our magic ring. So you're gonna yarn over your hook, put it into the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop. So you've now got three loops on your hook. You're gonna yarn over and pull right through all three loops. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hold my hook how it's most comfortable for me. I urge you to do the same. I know I hold my hook very weird, I hear that a lot, but anyway, <laughs> let's do our five half double crochets. So yarn over, go into the magic ring, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we're gonna do that five times. That's two, three, four, and five. And I should have said at, uh, at the beginning of us doing this magic ring that you're going to want to make sure that you're going over those two pieces of yarn because now we're gonna take this tail end and just close that ring up. Okay, now what you're gonna do is find your little chain one space that you made at the start of your magic ring. And you're gonna close this round with a slip stitch. So just push your hook right through, yarn over and pull right through the loops on your hook. This is crazy, I'm finding all these little like dog hairs and stuff in my yarn. <laughs> okay. So now to begin our next round, we're gonna chain one. Okay, we're gonna work two half double crochets in every single stitch all the way around. So yarn over, go right into that first stitch there. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. So we're gonna do another one in that very same stitch, okay? And we're gonna do two in the next. And you're just gonna go ahead, pause the video, work two half double crochets in every single stitch all the way around. And by the time that you get back to the beginning, you should have a total of 10 stitches. So go ahead and do that and then come back. Okay, so now that we're back at the beginning here, you're gonna go ahead and close this round with a slip stitch in your chain one space. Okay, and chain one to begin the next round. So now for this next round, we're gonna do two half double crochet in that first stitch there. And one half double crochet in the next. I just have to pull up a little more yarn here. Two half double crochet in the following stitch. and one half double crochet in the next. So you're gonna go ahead all the way around working two, one, two, one, all the way until you get back to the beginning. Then you're gonna close with a slip stitch and chain one. By the end of this round, you should have a total of 15 stitches. Okay, so now that you've finished that round, we're gonna start our next one. So you will have closed with a slip stitch and chain one. So now we're gonna do two half double crochet in that first stitch. 
and one half double crochet in the following two stitches. Two in the next. And one in the following two. So you're going to go ahead and continue on with this pattern all the way around, working two, one, one, two, one, one. And by the time you get around to the start, you should have 20 stitches all the way around. You're going to close with a slip stitch and chain one and then come back. Okay, so now that you're done that round, we're going to do two half double crochet in the first stitch. one half double crochet in the following three stitches. And then you're gonna go ahead and continue on alternating the way you have been, but now with three in between. So you're gonna do, we did two, one, one, one. You're gonna do two, one, 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 and keep doing going all the way around until you get back to the start. You're gonna close with a slip stitch and chain one. And by the time that you're finished this round, you should have 25 stitches. Okay, so now that you've finished that round, we're gonna go ahead and begin our next one. So we're gonna do two half double crochets in our first stitch. Okay, and we're gonna work one half double crochet in the following four stitches. two in the next and you're going to go ahead and continue on with this alternating pattern all the way around working two and then one in the following four two one in the following four and by the time that you get around to the start you're going to close the slip stitch chain one and you should have a total of 30 stitches so go ahead and do that and then come back Okay, so now that we finished that round, we're gonna go ahead and start our last increase round. We're gonna work two half double crochets in our first stitch, and then one half double crochet in the following five. You're gonna go ahead and alternate all the way around doing two and then one in the following five. Two, one in the following five. What have I got there? I lost count a little bit for a second. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And you're going to go ahead and continue that all the way around. You're going to close with a slip stitch, chain one. And by the time that you finish this round, you should have 35 stitches. Then come back and we're going to move on to the next step. Okay. So now that you've finished that last increase round, we're going to go ahead and move on. So what we're going to do now is just work one half double crochet into every single stitch all the way around. And you're going to close your round with a slip stitch in the chain one space. So you're going to work one half double crochet in every stitch all the way around. You're going to close with a slip stitch and chain one. You're going to do that with one half double crochet in every single stitch around, close the slip stitch, chain one. You're going to do that for a total of 12 rounds. So go ahead, pause the video, do 12 rounds of working just one half double crochet in every single stitch around, close with a slip stitch, chain one. Work on that and then come back. Okay, so now that you've finished working those rounds, we're gonna chain one to begin our next round. And now what you're gonna be doing is we are going to work in the front loop of our stitches, still working half double crochets, but only in the front loop, okay? So we're gonna yarn over and instead of pushing our hook right through this entire stitch, we're going to go over our work into the front loop only and then work our half double crochet as usual. So right over into the front loop only. Okay. So you're just going to go ahead all the way around working in your front loops only, still just working half double crochets but only in the front loop. So go ahead and do your front loop half double crochets all the way around, 
close with a slip stitch the way that you have been as regular in your chain one space and then chain one to begin the next round and then come back. Okay, so now that you've finished that round, this will be the collar that we will come back to later. For now, we're gonna continue on and we're gonna do our regular half double crochets, but we're gonna be working in the full stitches, including the front loop we just did. So it's a bit of an awkward round, but you're just gonna push your hook. Let me show you on the second one. So you're gonna go ahead and push your hook right in. So even in the front loops that you've just worked in, and your back loop. So you're gonna be working in the stitch that you would have done on the last round. So it's kind of like we're doubling up on this one round because we're working, we just worked in these front loops, but now we're working in the full stitch. Okay, so you're gonna go ahead and work those half double crochets all the way around and then come back. Okay, so now that you've finished that round, you're gonna go ahead and close with your slip stitch in your chain one space that might be a little awkward to try and find there because it's bent a bit chain one now you're just back to working in your stitches like normal and you're going to work one half double crochet in every stitch around close with a slip stitch chain one you're going to do that for 10 rounds from now so go ahead and do 10 more rounds of half double crochet just working one in every stitch around close with a slip stitch chain one so go ahead and do that for 10 and then come okay. back so now that you've finished working those 10 rounds of half double crochet, you will have closed the slip stitch and chain one. Chain one more so that you now have a chain two for the beginning of this next round, okay? Now what we're gonna do, going around each stitch, all the way around, we're gonna work double crochets. So you're gonna yarn over your hook, push your hook through the stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. You're gonna yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the next two loops. Okay, I'll do another one with you. Yarn over your hook, push it through the next stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over and pull through the next two. So you're just gonna go ahead and keep on working those double crochets all the way around and you will close the round with a slip stitch but because we did a chain two at the start you're going to close with a slip stitch at the top of the chain two space and then come back okay so now that you've finished that round we did that because it'll make a little more sense as we go but we needed some height to have some bigger gaps in between the stitches because this will be the top part of the bag where you're going to weave your drawstring um, through there. That's where in the picture or video that you might have seen to find this pattern where I pull the drawstring to, to close it up. This is where you're going to be weaving that drawstring through. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you've closed the slip stitch, chain one, and we're just going to go back to our regular half double crochets. And we are going to do four rounds of just one half double crochet in every single stitch, close with a slip stitch at the end, and then chain one. You're gonna do that for four rounds and then come back. Okay, so after working those three rounds of half double crochet, you're just gonna pull up your hook a little bit and then fasten that off with a pair of scissors. And just pull the rest of that through. Okay, so we'll put that aside for now, and we are gonna go ahead and work on the eyes. So grab your yellow yarn, and I'm just gonna pull a little through to make it easier on me. Let me find the end there. So we're gonna make a starting loop, and you're just gonna wrap the yarn around your finger like that, pick up a little bit of the bottom piece, push some of the top piece through, and pull to reveal a loop and just get it onto your hook there. So we are now gonna chain 12. Yarn over and pull through. Yarn over and pull through. And just keep on going until you got a chain of 12 and then come back. Okay, so now that you have your chain 12, you're gonna, we're going to attach our last chain and our first chain using a slip stitch. So you're just gonna fold it up 
and push your hook through that first chain that you made, okay? Oh, sorry, the little tail's getting in the way. Yarn over and pull right through. So now you have this kind of a ring shape. I'm just gonna explain something quick so it doesn't really get too confusing. So the eye is gonna be, it's a position where it's a little bit rounder at the bottom, a little pointy on the top. So we are gonna end up kind of stretching it out and playing with it when we're positioning it on the gift bag. But for now, we're gonna chain one and then working around the inside of this little ring, we're gonna work single crochets all the way. So you're just gonna push your hook through your chain there. Sorry, let me get a good angle for you. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. I know it looks awkward, I'm trying to hold it so you can get a good view. So push your hook through, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both. So you're just gonna go ahead and work all the way around all 12 of these chains working on the inside. It's gonna start to flip out like this where it's like the part that's supposed to be on the inside is on the outside. Don't worry, we'll fix that up after. So go ahead and just work those single crochets all the way around and then come back. Okay, so now that you've gotten all the way around working on the inside, we're not gonna try and close with any slip stitch or anything. We're just gonna go ahead and pull a little bit through but we're gonna fasten it off with a bit of a long tail, quite a long tail, so you can get an idea there. And I'll explain why in a moment. So go ahead and fasten that off and then just pull it right through. You can close with a slip stitch if you like to. Um, I just chose not to. Okay, so now at the top here, We're gonna get our yarn um, needle. And into that really long tail, we're gonna thread our needle. Okay. This is the most dreaded part of this project, I, I, to be honest, I really don't like making the Grinch eyes. I find it so awkward, but this was, this is the most successful shape. I just love the way it turns out. So I promise you it's worth the headache, but I do sympathize with you because I know this is a real, real pain. What we're going to do is we're going to put our yarn needle through the edge of one of these stitches into the edge of the other and just pull that through. We don't wanna pull it too light, sorry, too tight because we don't want it to be a long oval like this. We're trying to keep as much of this shape and keep as much stretch to it as we can so we can manipulate the shape when we're sewing it onto our Grinch face, okay? So now we're gonna just go back into the edge of another of that side in the stitch and over here. Okay. I know you're probably thinking, okay, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Yeah, it is. Don't celebrate too soon. <laughs> I'm just giving a realistic expectation because it really does suck making these Grinch eyes. But like I said, it's so worth it. And if you're not having a hard time, well, God bless your heart because I mean, I hate this part to be honest with you, the Grinch eyes is the main reason why I don't fulfill orders for this project. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so discover where the back is, which of course is where that seam is. Okay, and then you see the front. So this will be where the collar is. So you wanna leave a little space and up here in your double crochets is where we're gonna be tying it shut. So this is the space you have to work for with your face, okay? Just keep that in mind so you don't go accidentally sewing the eyes 
where you're gonna be working something else. So you're gonna take your eye and position it on there in a way where the point is sort of facing up and out and the rounded part is in, okay? And you can, this is what I was talking about, you could manipulate the shape a little. So go ahead, pause the video, play around with that a little bit. You could attach these at the end too. I'm not gonna attach them right now. You'll see my finished product at the very, very end. But if you wanna pause and go ahead and get the eyes on there to get that part out of the way, go for it. Um, otherwise, let's just go ahead and move on to the next step and you can do what I'm doing and put on all the bits and pieces at the end. You can certainly go ahead and pause the video to make the other eye. If you wanna wind that back for a moment, go for it. And I will be here moving on to the little black part of the eye, which is gonna be the pupil that we're gonna to work to put right here. Okay, so let's move on to the little, the black part for the pupil of the eye. So we are gonna do another magic ring. I'll go over that again for you one more time in case you're brand new to doing a magic ring and the very start of the project was the only time you did it. I'll go over this part slowly again for you. So you're gonna just drape the yarn over your hand like this, hold it in place with your thumb, wrap it around and cross it over gently. Grab your hook, go under that first part, over the second, pull it up and hold it in place and pick up your working yarn. Chain one. We are gonna single crochet two times into the magic ring. One, two. We're going to grab the tail of our magic ring and pull that closed. And then go ahead and find your little chain one space and close with a slip stitch. Pull some tail end through and fasten that off. That's literally all there is to it for that step. Pull it right through. So now using a yarn needle, I personally do this part after I've attached the yellow of the eyes because like I said, as we all now know, this is my most not favorite part of this project and it usually gives me the most headache so I like to get the eyes attached first and then I go ahead and using my yarn needle I position this on and just sew it right in there play around with it and find the best shape but sew it right in there so it's at the bottom rounded part of the yellow eye okay so that's it for the eyes. Like I said, you will see mine when I, um, when I show you at the very end, my finished product, okay? Okay, so I'm gonna move on to the collar, but first, before I do that, I just wanna to touch on one thing. I'm not gonna bother doing this part on camera just because it's such a, I mean, you would have to have, personally, I think you should have the eyes in place first and probably even the collar done. But for the nose and mouth, Literally, all you're going to do, and I'll show you briefly on here. I will do a little bit on camera just to show you. So I just cut a little piece of black yarn. And then I decide where I'm going to want the nose to be. And all I do is get my hook on the inside. And you're literally just going to, you could either put two little lines. I've done that on my slippers. I put two little lines for the nose, like two little nostrils. And that's actually what I've put in the written pattern. And on my last bag, I, I literally just put one little, that's all I did. And on the inside, when, I, when I'm using my yarn needle to go ahead and hide all my tail ends, when I get on the inside there, I literally just take those two and tie it in a double knot and then cut the ends. And that's the Grinch nose. For the mouth... And this part, I'm not, I'm not going to do the whole thing on here just um, because, like I said, it's really just you're taking your yarn needle, threading it, and you're just sewing it on how you want it to go. And I usually will get an idea by placing it like this and sort of decide how I want that big troublesome grin to go. 
right? I'll kind of get a look and be like, okay, so that's how I want it. I want it about like this. He has a great big broad grin. And then you'll have your two eyes there. And the eyebrows, the same thing. You're just gonna take your yarn needle and push it through. That's all you're doing. You're just sewing in those little accents. So that's not really a huge deal. I'm not gonna bother doing that on camera because I mean, literally all you're doing, just like I did the nose, how I just kind of pushed it in with your yarn needle. I mean, you're gonna go in and out a little bit more to make it, make sure that you don't, you, you don't wanna do like push it in here and then push it here because you'll have this floppy mouth. But you're just gonna sew it. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about because I take a lot of pride in making sure that anyone who watches my video tutorials will know exactly every single step what to do. So just in case, if that's confusing, I'm going to show you. So let's do the mouth here. So I would literally decide, okay, where do I want the top part of the mouth? And usually it's pretty up high. I always have it above the nose, I think, and just below the eyes there. So I would pull, I'm holding on to the tail end inside so it doesn't come right through. And I leave a bit of a gap in there so that I can hide the ends later. So when you get in, I usually go just, you know, a stitch or two. I usually will go about a stitch or two, right? So I'm going, I'd be working down this way. So I would push it in here because you also don't want it to look like a million stitches. So I just do it very loosely and then not going up in that same spot but I would kind of go down another little bit here, about to here, okay? Pull it through and then put it back in there. Just for those of you that don't really do any sewing much or anything like that, and I'm not a big sewer, clearly myself, I mean, but this is just the little accent pieces to give our Grinch. And I would literally, so that's all you're gonna do. You're just gonna, just how I showed you, and that's what you're gonna do until you're happy with the shape you have for the mouth, and you're just gonna do two straight lines down for the eyebrows, okay? So I'm gonna put that aside. And like I said, I will show you my finished product at the very end, but now I'm gonna show you, sorry, we do need this, because I'm gonna show you how to do the collar. So let's start right at the back, okay? So find your first little stitch there and just get your hook ready to start pulling some threads through. This is a simple step. It's just a little bit tedious, to be honest. It's a bit time consuming, but it's a beautiful, very necessary accent of the Grinch, I personally think. So get your measuring tape out if you want. If you wanna eyeball it, it's fine. It's not like it has to be exactly precise, but I usually do my strips to about eight inches. And you're gonna grab your green yarn. Where's the end? Okay. So grab your green and just measure it out to about eight inches. Okay, fasten that off. You can move that out of the way now and we'll just use this one as a gauge. And you're literally just gonna go and cut a whole bunch. Well, we should know because our stitch count should be at 35. So count go ahead and cut 35 strips because we're going to put one in every single stitch. See what I'm talking about? That's why it gets kind of, this is a very tedious part. So you can pause the video, keep on going and cutting your strips, but I'm going to show you what to do for this step. I, of course, am not going to do every single one here on camera because that doesn't make sense and I don't really do every step like that anyway, but I'm going to show you what to do. So get your hook through your stitch. Remember this where we did our front loop half double crochets? That's our collar. So you're gonna go ahead and with your hook, just kind of hook that in, hold it here, cause you're only gonna pull it halfway through. Line it up to have it nice and even. And then we're just gonna double knot it around the stitch. You're gonna go ahead and do that around every single stitch all the way around, but then you're gonna take these strips of yarn and split them, okay? It doesn't split very nicely. If it does for you, you're lucky, but I literally found myself having to actually physically unwind them. And this is what I meant when I said that it is a very, very tedious step, but do you see that, the look? Come on, 
it's worth it, right? It's a pain in the butt, but it's, it's a pretty mindless step. It's not like it takes a whole bunch of concentration. So I literally cut all the strips and then I go sit down and watch a movie. While I do this part, that's what I do. And that's literally what I'm about to go do before I come back and meet you and show you my finished product. I will go watch a movie and do my whole Grinch collar. So, but before I do that, one more step before we are through is our little drawstring. Remember these double crochet, the row we did here? So we gotta make our drawstring. Um, and the reason I chose to do a drawstring here, you can always make straps if you prefer. I just thought, you know, when the Grinch doesn't have his Santa hat on, he has that little tuft of hair. How cute is that, right? It's kind of like his little tuft of hair when you have the, the drawstring. So that's why I decided to do that instead of handles. Um, and I should have mentioned this a long time ago in this video, probably right at the start, but there is a link in the description below that will take you to the written pattern um, if you want to have the written pattern as well. And uh, there's also a link in the description below that takes you to the um, my website where you'll see the other Christmas um, crochet gift bags that are already done and there will be more coming soon. Just depends on when you're seeing this video, but I do currently have Grinch and Santa for sure. And there's a couple more that are in the works, so you can keep an eye out for that too. Let's go ahead and do our drawstring. So we're gonna do our starting loop here. Get that on our hook and we're gonna chain 56. One, two, three, four, five, six. So go ahead and do your chain until you get to 56 and then come back. Now that you're done your chain, that's it. That's literally your drawstring. I'm just gonna pull a little bit through there, fasten it off. Okay, give that a tug. And then you can actually cut the end there a little bit shorter. Okay, on both ends there. And that's it, that's your drawstring. So you're gonna go, and I like to start at the very back where I put it in. So find your double crochet row here, get your hook through, and very carefully so you don't go splitting your chain there. You're just gonna pull that through. And then every other double crochet, you're just gonna go ahead and guide your drawstring through. So it goes up and over. So one, two, under, over. Okay, so you're gonna do it all the way around this side, all the way around this side. And then when you just get to here, leave like one or two in the middle, whatever you prefer. And go ahead, do your accents and all that. And I'm gonna show you my finished product as soon as I'm done, right now in a moment. Thank you. 